Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this channel is dedicated to learning, teaching, and discussing everything about cybersecurity. So today we're back in Let'sDefend.io and we are investigating a suspicious CertUtil EXE usage on a host. And here in the event details, we are giving a bit of information about the alert. We see the IP address, we see the host name, we have the related binary, which is the CertUtil.exe. We have the path, um, the command line, and what was ran. And then we see the trigger reason. So this F parameter with the assert util is the reason why this alert triggered. So let's do a bit of Googling and see exactly what's going on here. So I'm just gonna search the web for that um, specific command. And we have a bleeping computer article here that says that assert util exe could allow attackers to download malware while bypassing AV. And that's a, a lot right there. So we see actually the exact command output that was used on Let's Defend. So as already discussed, you can download a file using certutil.exe by using the following command. So this will download the file in its original form and save it to the computer. And the problem with this method is that network security devices can detect the file as malicious and block it. So it has some other mitigation strategies um, based on encoding and stuff like that, but we're not too worried about that because we have a plain text command line that we're looking at. So let's actually go to Microsoft and try to um, look at the docs and see exactly, or try to get more information on the commands being ran here. Uh, let's just end this. So Microsoft Docs, let's uh, control F and URL cache. So this URL cache parameter is used to display or delete URL cache entries. And that F parameter forces fetching a specific URL and updates the cache. And let's see, it has the split here, but there's no information on it. But basically we already know what's happening. The user, attacker, whoever is using the certutil URL cache command to download a remote file. And that's pretty much all we need to know for right now. So in this instance, the attacker used certutil to pull down this nmap.zip from nmap.org. And if you're not familiar with nmap, we can look it up. nmap is a network scanner created by Gordon Lyon. An nmap is used to discover hosts and services on a computer network by sending packets and analyzing the responses. So this type of native Windows executable being used for malicious purposes is called um, living off the land. And we can go and look that up as well. You know, I love Googling things. And this LOL BAS project.github rep uh, repo has a list of Windows executables that are used for malicious purposes. And it will show you the exact purpose and the function of these binaries. So we see like CertUtil, you can download, you can encode, you can decode. Um, it has a bunch of other stuff too, like find string, uh, you can find credentials, which we'll see in a second. Uh, you can use it to download things, which I didn't know. And there's a lot of just good information here. And I'll link this in the in my description. And we see this action was allowed. So we should see some scanning activity from this host. So let's go ahead and look up this host name, Eric Prod. So let's start digging through some of the information that is provided on this host. And we have the browser history, we have command history, network connections, and process list. So the browser history um, doesn't really contain anything pertaining to our, uh, our, our alert. These are from 2022. We're looking for, uh, I believe, January 3rd, 2021. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's look at command history, though. And we see right off the bat a lot of enumeration and they actually went and pulled down another file, this Windows exploit suggester. But let's talk through this stuff. So they ran who am I to see who the current user is. 
um, net user lists all the user on the machine. IP config shows the network configuration of the host. Um, net local group shows all the local groups on the host. Then net start enumerates the services on the host. Net stat uh, shows network statistics like open, listening ports, that kind of thing. Task list, self-explanatory, um, system info pulls down like the OS and host name, all kinds of juicy information to an attacker. And then we see the actual command that caused the alert. And then again, the exploits suggester, it looks like they are trying to find some exploits to run against this machine. And then we see the actual scanning here. So they're running in map on the entire subnet of 192.168 zero zero and that is everything um if you know cider notation then you realize that this is uh just scanning the entire entirety of this subnet which is pretty crazy and then they're looking only for port 80 which is interesting to me so they're looking for a web server and then uh you see them running that check.py from earlier the exploits suggester running ARP A, which displays the ARP table that's linked to the machine. It's IP addresses, MAC addresses, um, find string. So they're looking for text files, XML files, INI file, files that contain the string pass. So passwords um, would be under that umbrella, like passwords.txt or passwords.xml or so on and so forth. Um, and then they're trying to execute or um, bypass the execution policy for PowerShell. So they're looking to run some PowerShell scripting, but we don't see any evidence of that. So it doesn't appear that they actually moved off of this machine just based on this command history. But um, we're just assuming that. Let's go ahead and request containment of this host. And then... I believe we have enough to go ahead and create a case. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So hit start playbook. And then we already discussed living off the of land binaries. And then it says to identify the binary. So we know that assert util.exe. Oh, it's actually the same. Uh, website from earlier in the school at LOL BAS oh. so is the current activity suspicious I would say so and what is suspicious activity and then um, from this living off the land binaries we know that they were downloading a file so download who performed the suspicious malicious activity using a binary? So it seems to me like it was a user, an actual person, not malware, just based on the uh, the commands that were ran. And we didn't see any executables being um, like a script or anything like that. So it says, please go to the EDR page and contain the user machine. We already did that. Hit next and add artifacts so um actually let's go ahead and get that in map url uh what was his name uh nick or something er eric so command history and i guess we can grab these urls just going to add them to my notes here off screen and in map uh what else is it asking for url address um there's no ip addresses no hashes so just going to add these two And the exploit suggester here as well. Exploit suggester. Uh, 
Um, let's see. So we investigated. Our response, our action was um, attacker usurped util to pull down uh, nmap and exploit suggester from remote hosts or from remote uh, URLs. Then used uh, nmap to scan the entire subnet. And then we didn't see any exploitation. And we're going to hand this off to uh, IR or our L2s, I guess. L2 review. All right, cool. So I guess that's we're done with this one. Okay, cool. So let's see how we did. We can close the alert. Uh, I'm not going to write anything because I already wrote my um, comment. Hit close. And all of the answers were correct. Awesome. So that was a pretty quick one. But if you found this video helpful or useful in any way, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. God bless.